hours later. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's King Tuts Pro, and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the Matt Como transition or a vlog transition. I'm not sure what to call this tutorial, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this really cool effect that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. And if you guys aren't too sure yet, I'm gonna go ahead and go on to uh, Matt Como's video. Also, be sure to give him some credit and some love. Go to his YouTube channel, subscribe. His videos are really, really good. Also, be sure to show some love to Lost Le Blanc. His video is amazing. But anyways, this is the effect that I'm going to show you guys right here. It goes from something very cinematic to him vlogging or him vlogging himself. It's uh, the video here, it's a cinematic, and then it suddenly kind of zooms in or kind of fades through this transition that I'm going to show you guys how to do from scratch. And uh, it goes to him vlogging. And that's the same effect that we're going to be doing in this video. So as you can see here, I added a crop or a letterbox to the video clip. I just went on Google. I downloaded an image and I placed it on top of the project here to fit onto the timeline. And I also added a wish sound effects that will make the whole entire video much much better guys i suggest you guys download it all of the links will be down in the description along with the project files that i'm using anyways i'm gonna go ahead and mute the audio because we don't really need it anymore um well in this case for now and then we have this going on we have this transition here but this is a paid transition from motion vfx i know you guys don't like paid uh plugins that's why i'm gonna show you guys how to do it from scratch so uh, first of all, I'm going to show you guys the plugins that I did use if you guys do want to buy them. I went to M Transition Zoom when I installed it and I used the first one. I just used the normal zoom in transition. And then the next one I used was the replace down right there as you can see. And it kind of makes it look really nice. It kind of warps the video and makes it look really nice. But the effect that I'm going to show you guys is this one right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first clip. Go on to the transform in the inspector window and we're going to go to the scale all option. Go ahead and kind of go a little bit kind of back just like this, a couple of frames to the left here. Um, you want to make sure that you go a little bit before the end of the clip. Don't go too far because then the transition will be too slow because his effect was kind of fast. So the closer we are to the end, the faster the transition. So we're going to go ahead and uh, add our first keyframe at 100% and then we're going to go ahead and go a couple couple of frames more over and then about here seems pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and add another keyframe and in this one we're gonna go ahead and bring it up to 122 percent or around there and also this depends on how uh, your frame is set up the the closer you are to the video the more you want to zoom out just keep that in mind so I'm um, just keep that into account when you're using uh, the scale option and uh, from here you want to go ahead and do is just go to the end of the video clip and then we should still be in the video clip there it just shows the other clip but you want to go ahead and go back to 100 percent so uh, you want to go ahead and bring this down so add a keyframe and then go to 100 percent so now we go like this and then make sure our video clip is selected go five frames to the left so one two three four five and we're still in the clip go ahead and add a keyframe this is very important be sure to add a keyframe and this will be our third keyframe. And then we want to scale this up to 140%. Anywhere between 130% to 140% is good. So now we have something like this going on. And it zooms in and it zooms out very quickly. Now from here, you want to go ahead and select, uh, or before we even do that, go to your clip uh, that, we're do that we were just scaling. Go ahead and go uh, five frames to the left. So one, two, three, four, five. Right there, you want to go ahead and cut that. So Alt B to cut that where the time head is or go to the blade tool and cut it. Select that small clip and go to the effects. You want to go ahead and type in zoom and add that onto your clip. So from there, it's going to blur it out, but don't worry, we're going to change that. At the very beginning of that small clip, we want to go ahead and bring the amount to eight, uh, around 8% 8 or eight pixels. I don't know what that is, just eight. And then from there, you want to go ahead and add a keyframe and go to the end of that clip and bring it all the way up to 32. So now it's going to look something like this and it makes that nice zoom effect, okay? So nothing is complete without this clip, okay? So it needs to also follow the same path as we did in the beginning. So to do that, it's very simple. Select the first clip. You wanna to go to the transform option. Go ahead and bring this up to about 128% or close to what you first added on the second keyframe, which is 122. But you guys can play around with it. Add a keyframe and then go five frames to the right. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. 
And then you want to go ahead and bring this down or add a keyframe and then bring it to 100%. Now, if I went fast, be sure to go back and watch it. I don't want to make this confusing for you guys, and I also don't want to make it too long of a video, so just keep that in mind. But now, if you play it, it's going to look something just like that, which is pretty nice. Now, combined with the music and the sound effects, it's going to look and sound amazing. So, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and re-enable the music, okay? Or before we even do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and enable the sound effects. So with the sound effects, this is what they sound like. It's pretty nice, but without the music, nothing is fun. So we added our music, which will also be down in the description. And if I push play, Thing. Thing. just nicely fades like that. Okay, now we're also going to go ahead and bring this back up to, I think it was a negative, negative three. And then from here, you want to go ahead and select the clip and drag the vlog video with the sound. Fade that in quite a bit like that. And then we also want to fade this one out, the one that we used to zoom that last video out or zoom in. We're going to go ahead and just zoom that or bring or fade that out just like that. So now we should have something like this. Thing. Here in Hong Kong, about three, which is what we want. And this one, we also want to take that one off if you guys want. So that is the effect, guys. If you found it helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like. That'd be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.